Biden recently unveiled his fiscal year 2022 budget, which asked for a total spending of over $6 trillion in the coming fiscal year. Today, we'll look at exactly why it's highly bullish for the cryptocurrency market. Some may say that this is an exaggeration, but trust me, if you understand microeconomics and how everything works, you'll see why this is a good thing for crypto. Hello guys, and welcome back to CryptoFire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we go any further, please keep in mind that we're giving away one Ethereum to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment on your favorite cryptocurrency. Best wishes! Now let's get started with today's video. So if you've been following the US economy, you'll know that America and many other countries have been producing money out of thin air. This is now common practice. What I mean is that it just devalues the dollar. When you look at the value of the US dollar over time, it's not a pretty sight. What does this mean for cryptocurrency and what does it mean for Dogecoin holders? In a moment, I'll get to that. I'd want to start with this because it all connects. So if you look at the purchasing power of the US dollar, you can clearly see that it has declined dramatically since the 1900s, owing mostly to inflation. Now, inflation is normal, but there will be moments when there is greater inflation because more money is printed throughout time. What is happening now, though, is a pandemic. When the pandemic struck, many individuals were unaware that the government had printed massive quantities of money. Looking at the Federal Reserve balance sheet, you can see that they printed trillions and trillions of dollars. This means that the value of the US dollar falls even more. Now, because the value of the US dollar has fallen, people are seeking inflation hedges because inflation is simply the worth of your money falling. Stocks, real estate, and gold are now used as inflation hedges. That is the list of the three most common commodities used as hedges. Of course, due to Bitcoin, crypto is now a good store of wealth as well. And a government has started to realize that as well. But we'll get to that in a moment. Although I don't anticipate Bitcoin reaching absurd highs like it did in the past, I would argue that Bitcoin is a fairly secure investment against levels of inflation and the currency collapsing. Given that it is a part of the digital future and cryptocurrencies are becoming more and more interwoven with society, I can see why more individuals are preferring to invest in Bitcoin over other assets. So the idea is that people are investing in Bitcoin today because, as we all know, the government has been printing more and more money recently. When you look at the $6 trillion budget proposal, it plainly calls for increases in domestic expenditure, more taxes, and so on. Okay, if you look at this, you'll see that another batch of $1,400 stimulus checks is on the way. Money will become even less valuable over time. It's simply a reality of life that if everyone has it, it's less valuable. It is also a matter of supply and demand. The argument is that, for the time being, things like stocks are excellent investments for hedging against inflation. There are alternative options such as real estate, but these have substantial entry barriers. This is beneficial for anyone who has invested in cryptocurrency. What's the point of this? Well, you may recall that throughout prior bull runs, there were significant sell-offs. But the truth is, there isn't going to be a big sell-off in Bitcoin right now. Now, it appears from the charts and data that whales are selling off and they are not holding as well. But I believe the floor for Bitcoin this time around will be considerably higher than it was last year. Many people are treating Bitcoin as if it were digital gold and that is exactly what it will become in the future. Initially, Bitcoin was intended to be used as a store of wealth, but it is now intended to be used as a store of gold, i.e. digital gold. Its value will rise over time as it becomes increasingly rare. So if the floor for Bitcoin is higher, it suggests that we're unlikely to see any major huge crashes or sell-offs, because people are actually holding this for the long term. Many people are hoarding Bitcoin while the value of the US dollar continues to fall. Now, I'm not arguing that Bitcoin is the best investment or that it should be the only thing you buy. What I'm trying to suggest is that, in the long run, Bitcoin will outperform the US dollar. It has exceeded the SP500, it has excelled real estate, and now people are realizing that it may outperform the US currency as well, which is why they are keeping it. It means that crashes are far less likely since people are holding it, because if the value of the US dollar falls significantly, we will have a new asset class that many people are holding. Over time, when mass adoption occurs and more institutions emerge, the cost of this will rise even further. This is beneficial to Dogecoin because it means reduced volatility in the cryptocurrency markets. Our favorite currency will always be volatile. That's just a component of the asset class. 
it's unavoidable. However, when people realize this and continue to hold for the long term, it will become less volatile. Now, let's come back to how a government decided to accept cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Take a look at this post, which was made earlier this week, titled, Nebraska approves a bill allowing banks to accept cryptocurrency. Now, this is fantastic news, guys. This is a government instructing its banks to begin taking cryptocurrencies as a means of payment. This just implies a lot more people will consider cryptocurrencies, such as Dogecoin, as genuine money when they learn that actual banks are starting to accept them too. On top of that, Ray Dalio recently revealed that he owns Bitcoin. If you don't already know, Ray Dalio is one of the biggest names in the investing world, and he has a massive hedge fund. So when he begins to suggest that Bitcoin can be a good investment, I would anticipate that Bitcoin will not fall any lower than it is presently. I would also anticipate that when his followers learn that Ray Dalio believes in the future of Bitcoin, they'll decide to buy it and hold it too. Now, all this is positive for Dogecoin since it becomes more than simply a speculative asset when individuals begin to use it as a hedge against inflation like its big brother Bitcoin. It is then integrated into the financial system itself. Now let's get started with some amazing Dogecoin news, starting with Atoro. Atoro is one of the biggest trading platforms in the world. Its CEO said that they're listing Dogecoin on its platform, and it's basically due to its big fan base. He revealed that the listing was motivated by a loud and vast community back in Asia. He also said that Shiba Inu shares a similar love of following, but he refused to comment if the trading platform will allow it in the near future. They're implying that Shiba Inu might get accepted soon, but Dogecoin was added first, owing to the community backing it up very strongly. Another absurd piece of recent news is that 24% of Australians are willing to accept Bitcoin as part of their salary, according to a recent survey. That is insane, not just for Bitcoin, but for the entire cryptocurrency market, because Bitcoin is the market leader. And when it gets more generally recognized by the public, other cryptocurrencies, such as Dogecoin, are more likely to follow suit. Now let's discuss Blockfolio, which is one of the world's largest trading platforms. They decided to send out a tweet today saying, A hot tub that's heated by mining Dogecoin. Elon Musk, I don't care how, just make it happen. To this, Musk responded, saying, great idea. In December, they tweeted something similar, asking Elon Musk, will Neuralink allow us to mine Dogecoin with 90% of our brain? We do not use it now. If you don't know, Neuralink is the new project that Elon is working on, which allows you to connect it to your brain and do a lot of different things. It also gets your brain to function a lot quicker. That's why Blockfolio said for 90% of our brain that we do not use, can we use it to mine Dogecoin? Elon saying it's a great idea might actually mean that he's already working on something similar. Honestly, at this point, we do not know what Elon is working on for Dogecoin because the amount of good ideas that he's going to be coming out very soon is incredible and inevitable. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Goodbye, take care.